Welcome to Leaxcode, we're going to be developing a simple but extremely helpful button handler in this video. What's a button handler you might ask and it's fairly simple. It's essentially just a way to separate your button's responses to button interactions into different files instead of having them cluttered in a bunch of if statements in one file. Uh, like you have used most likely in event files handling and command files handling. That way you have more control over your buttons and keep your both file structure organized and neat. So if you got the idea, let's go ahead and dive into it. Now first of all, to be able to get this handler working, you will need to have an event handler. And if you've been following along our series, you should already have it and much more. If you don't though, click the card up to the right to watch it. Second of all, if your folder structure doesn't look like this, it's completely fine. Adapting this handler is extremely easy, so you can follow along anyway. And as a side note, if you wish to support the progress of this channel and get some extra perks in return, like exclusive access to pieces of code or access to the complete source code, of this whole tutorial series, get yourself a membership at kofi.com slash code, link in the description or you could just subscribe. Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead to our main.js or index.js, whatever you might have it. And in here, we can see how we require our otherwise uh, other handlers uh, like event and commands handlers. And when we require them, we push the client, pj, and sk as uh, parameters so we can use them inside of their, uh, the files without uh, the necessity of actually requiring all of this uh, for stuff inside of them. So that's what we're gonna do. If you don't have this in your uh, own bot setup, it's completely fine. You can just um, write this out on the top of your file. I will show you uh, how later on. But yeah, the only package that we need is a globe and ASCII table and uh, you should already have them by now if uh, you've been following along the series. Alright, so uh, like we see here, we have a collection for our commands. We're gonna also need to create a collection for our buttons. So client buttons equals new collection. And I will go uh, more in details on why we need collections. Alright, once that is done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our handlers file and we're gonna uh, create a new file, uh, sorry, handlers folder and we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it buttons.js. You can call it button handler, uh, whatever you want. Um, Alright, so and let's add it inside of this array of handlers. So buttons, the name should be exactly as the file name. You don't need to type .js. And remember, because we have open arrays in here, you have to have a semicolon on the last line behind it. Alright, so let's save this and exit our main because we don't need it no more. Alright, inside of our uh, buttons.js here, we're gonna model.export. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna async client pj, sorry, not jg, and ask table just like this as stated in the main.js so let's double check you can also just copy this and paste it here to be more careful all right once that is done uh, we're gonna define a table we're gonna create a new console log table which is let's type const table and it's gonna be new si and buttons handler the name of it is gonna be all right and then we're gonna define where let me delete this folder real quick all right then we're gonna define where in our um, uh, in our bot folders are the buttons that we want to load so uh, let's go ahead and create a new file or folder sorry and let's call it buttons the one that i just deleted and what we're gonna do is we're gonna type const button uh, buttons folder you can say equals to await p uh, j and in here we're gonna say um, we're gonna add backticks and what we want to do is we're gonna go to the process.cwd the main process window which is least code tutorials as this folder is named and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a slash buttons slash star star slash star dot js so what this does is it goes into the main folder of this process 
it goes inside of a folder that's called buttons it goes inside of any folder inside of the buttons folder basically categories and subcategories and it's gonna pick up every .js file and push it into uh, an array for example now this is gonna return an array so we can map it so we're gonna type button folders let me uh, button folders dot map and what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna define every let's say sync maybe we, we use a, a wait we're gonna define every entry as a file and here we're gonna type const button file equals to require file so basically we're gonna require every file inside of that array and then we're gonna check so if exclamation mark button file dot id we're gonna return so if the button file module does not have an id then we're gonna ignore it we're not gonna load it and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna type client dot buttons dot set and we're gonna set the button file dot id and the button file itself then we're gonna add a row to that to the table so table add row here we're gonna push the button id and we're gonna say for example loaded after that let's put a semicolon in here and console dot log the table to string just like this and we should be all done in here uh, so now if we start the boat uh, we're not gonna be able or it's gonna give us an empty uh, an empty table like you see here this is how our let me put it up again and restart the boat all right you see this is our commands table this is our events and this should be our table for the buttons but it's empty because we do not have any file inside of it all right so now for the next thing now we have loaded the folders all right and we can uh, or sorry the files and we can execute them whenever we need so and to execute them uh, go to your events folders wherever you have your event folders here uh, and go to your interaction subcategory and then here we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it for example button interactions.js and it's pretty simple here we're gonna require the button interaction property from the discord.js package and then we're gonna model export and we're gonna listen on the interaction create uh, event and we can also grab our parameters for the interaction button interaction interaction and this we do this just to grab the or to get auto completed properties on it then we're gonna execute we can execute interaction and client and what we're gonna say here is we're gonna check so if exclamation mark interaction dot is button so if we're checking if the interaction type is not a button then we're gonna return we're gonna stop the code right there and then uh, but if it is then the bot is gonna continue on with the codes we're gonna say here so we're gonna define button so const button equals to client dot buttons dot get and here we're gonna get it from the interaction dot custom id all right and then uh, we're gonna have basically a permission property inside of our uh, button handler which is pretty cool so we're gonna say if button sorry if button dot permission so if the button model that we just loaded has a permission property all right and if that and if the interaction dot member dot uh, permissions sorry permissions dot four no has sorry button button dot permission then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna return with an interaction dot reply you can save you can customize the content and you can say for example you are missing permissions and let's make it ephemeral we can also make it an embed and make it a little bit cooler but i'm not gonna waste your time creating embeds all right so what this code is doing is gonna shake so if the button model does have a permission property and i'll show you what i mean by that and uh, 
the interaction dot member dot permissions dot has button permissions. So if the interaction member does not have the button permission, then we're gonna return interaction reply saying you're missing permissions. And we're also gonna have another cool uh, feature which is only uh, owner only button. So same concept if button dot owner only and interaction dot member that id is not equal to the interaction dot dot owner id then we're gonna return with the same thing you we can say hey you you are not the owner pretty simple and uh, yeah this should be it for the permissions now we're gonna go down here and what we're gonna say is we're gonna button dot execute and then we're gonna push the client and interaction into its parameters and we should be all good um all right so now let's go ahead and try out our system so let's go to our buttons folder let's create a subcategory for example and you can um you can basically make as many categories as you want all right so let's go to the test and um uh, or actually i've before this episode i made this command where is it systems no uh, developer test command and it's a pretty simple command what it does it replies with a bunch of uh, with two buttons so pause the video here get it if you want it's just a simple uh, interaction that will respond with buttons so we can try out our system but like you see here we have a button with the custom id hello and we have a button with the custom id bye so let's go to our test and try out our system we're gonna create a new button and let's call it hello JS, which is the most obvious name for it if that you're listening on the custom ID hello and then here we're gonna model export and in here we're gonna specify the ID to be hello because that's the button that we want to listen to and you can set the permission to uh, for example administrator and permissions are case sensitive and then we're gonna execute interaction and we don't need to execute the client actually so execute interaction and here we're gonna type interaction reply content uh, yes it's working for example and now we're gonna copy this go down one more line and type by.js or get a new file and call it by.js and here instead of hello we're gonna specify to listen on the by button and we're gonna remove the permission and try it out so let's restart our bot and Table dot add row is not a function. Let's go ahead to our um, where is it? Button not button interaction. It's structures handlers buttons dot js, and let's see here. And it's fairly simple. It said uh, the add should be in lowercase a uh, inside of line ten. All right. So let's now restart the bot. And we're gonna shake and like you see here button handler loaded by and hello let's go to our discord in here and here we're gonna type slash test button this is the document i showed you and it's gonna post two buttons hello and bye so now then this account i'm admin so i'm gonna try to press hello and it's gonna say yes it's working now let's go to my other account which is not admin and if i press on hello it's gonna say you're missing permissions and but I can press by because we do not have permissions in it and let's see and it's a mongoose error don't worry about this it's another file that's causing this issue all right so if I type by it's gonna say yes working uh, so yeah the handler is pretty much done that's it uh, it's very simple but extremely helpful um, don't worry about the error like I said um, so you can you can basically transform or sorry change your old way of doing or listening to buttons like you see here in our ticket system we had sorry not this uh not in commands and events in our ticket initial ticket or oh, it is uh, initial ticket and ticket ops uh, we listened on buttons uh, and one second let's see here where is it ticket options for example here we listened and it's, it was pretty messy now we can create a file for each one of them and it, it will be good it will be all right and uh, and yeah so um i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i hope this um, video was informative to you uh, i hope to see you in the next one goodbye